ഈ ലോകത്തിന്റെ പ്രശ്നം എന്താണെന്നറിയോ കാഴ്ചയുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ കാഴ്ചപ്പാടില്ല ചില കാര്യങ്ങൾ അറിയാൻ എന്തിനാണ് കണ്ണ് യു ക്യാൻ യു നോ ഫീൽ ഇറ്റ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ മ്യൂസിക് Hi Rashi welcome to E Times Hi Hilpa thank you How are you I'm good how are you I'm good too Um first of all congrats on the teaser and the song it is already getting great response and tell us what excited you most about Brahma So the most exciting thing is the fact that it has Prithviraj so as the uh crux of it uh, number 1 uh number two the fact that amna bhum has been a massive hit and i genuinely feel that a remake of it uh, uh would bring in a lot of audience to watch it especially in the malayalam uh, space because i think they are very open to uh, films like amna bhum and i think, mm. think it's the perfect that to be made it, it has to be made in the malayalam context and the fact that we have ravi ketan the main it helming it the cinematography level and direction so i think everything great and it has also these other great actors uni and uh, mamta who reprised roles uh, from the original and i think every actor has brought out uh, their own uniqueness and their own genuinity into their characters which you will see reflecting on screen uh, so i think there were a lot of reasons why i decided to do this film and also the fact that i love malayalam cinema and uh, i always wanted to tap that market and not this better than this mm. back and do something in that industry great um so as we all know brahma is a remake of a uh, bollywood blockbuster antadun and uh, the uh, the original movie has already you know uh, got great reviews and it has also impressed the critics and uh, bagged a lot of awards including the national award um so um, you know had you already watched the, uh, the movie before the offer came to you I had already seen it but it's it mm. had but when they came with the remake it was uh, a decision that I made to not watch it again because I I didn't want to be affected by the way Radhika played her role or to mm. what she brings onto the table because I wanted to be as genuine to the character as I could be and bring in elements that I wanted to bring in and you'll see a lot of local elements also in the film which yes yes oh. to that audience so mm. you still you still feel that freshness coming in in the hmm. all right uh, so uh, could you tell us a bit about your uh, role what's the name of it, uh, of your character anna and um, and she is been written the way radhika's role has been written with a little bit of changes here and there i think there's more of her in the film than originally radhika in um uh, in nanda zone which i think hmm. so so you see um, i mean it's, it's honestly at the crux of it it's the same character but the way i have probably played it or the way i have brought it in is very different and i feel there's a greenness in this film in every shade in every character mm. the gray shade is there in every character so i think that's also what makes it unique and nice so uh, yeah i mean yeah i will just try to make it as original as i could even though it's a remake yeah. right um so going by the teaser uh, we have seen uh, only seen a few uh, you know glimpses of you uh, and prithviraj but i can already say that you you guys had a great on screen chemistry tell us a bit about how was it working with him especially now that he is also a filmmaker um so i think the fact that he's he's a great director that or he's already established himself was not a problem at all on the sense of on the sense of brahman because i think he surrenders to his director like mm-hmm. maybe also more because he's into direction he mm-hmm. he knows what it is to be a director that you know when he is acting he wants to give it his all to the director like he'll do what the director wants he'll mm-hmm. never button and say oh you know what this is how we should do it because he he there his job is to act and that is something he really takes very seriously and respects every technician you know respects his co-actors respects his technicians and i think that is why he is where he is you know because he respects all the crafts in the in, the, in film making mm. so uh, he was never a director on that set he was always an actor who gave it and uh, 
gave in with utmost sincerity and that is what reflects on screen and i think the fact that i was also very comfortable working with him was because he is actually a very genuine person you know mm. and and somebody who loves films and who loves film making and he'll he'll just he'll just light up the atmosphere you know when you're around him and that is something that really helps you and probably that comfort is what you see on screen too mm. all right um so as we already said that radhika apte has played this uh, role of sophie in the original version and uh, her performance has already received great reviews so uh, when you were approached to play this role uh, like working is working in a remake especially um, given that you know someone like uh, like radhika apte has already done the role is that uh, a concern at all for you is that challenging it was never really a concern because i knew that she is definitely played it to the best of her ability and that's why she's a great actor also and what she's brought into the table is amazing in that film because you always remember radhika even though andadun is majorly about tabu and aishman but in this film also i have tried to bring in as much as as much of me as an actor as i could and not get affected by what has already happened you know in the original because then that that really clouds your judgment about what you are doing or how you see a character that's that's also one of the reasons why i didn't watch it immediately after i signed the film because i was like okay let's go back there because i wanted to bring in that freshness now that whole pressure of are how are you doing it or but she's done it that way is not for me to take it's for the audience to see and probably see that okay we liked this one or we like that one or we like the approach of this one better which is completely fine but i have to be my craft so i don't take that pressure because i think that just clouds your judgment right um so uh, rashi you have already done you know some solid work in tamil and telugu uh, and you are no uh, stranger to malayalam either you have done uh, a movie with lalit and earlier um so um also you have worked in uh, bollywood as well so uh, what is that one uh, thing you feel is different Uh, about uh, you know uh, how the malayalam industry works compared to others i think malayalam is extremely strong with its stories first like the kind of the extremely daring because the kind of screenplay screenplay you will see in malayalam films you not see anywhere else it's it's actually up to international standards which no one knew before because i think thanks to platforms like amazon who have so many films now malayalam films especially where it just opens another world to you when you're like oh my god we've been missing this for so long because they are brilliant films with brilliant actors and you know i think that is something that ott has changed completely for us as an audience also and we do have appetite for that film for those kind of films is what the indian film industry in general is realizing so now everyone's becoming more daring and you know daring enough to do screenplays or do stories like the malayalam film industry i think that's malayalam is actually the best industry in terms of technicians or in terms of actors or even in terms of the kind of stories they do mm-hmm. so i think it's extremely wonderful and i would love to do more films in the malayalam and we would love to uh, see you more often <laughs> um also you know uh, rashi you have worked uh, across languages does that uh, you know sort of benefit the actor in you yes of course because every place you go uh, they mm-hmm. have a different style of working they have a different culture they work differently they think differently and the way they look at a character is different the only thing is that they are passionate about filmmaking in terms of who oh, we want to bring out the best for our people but apart from that there are a lot of different things like elements that make a character in a film come from that from the culture of that place so the culture of probably uh, malayalam the malayalam industry is very different from the culture that tamil people have or telugu people have so there are very different cultures and extremely fascinating it, it it is always fascinating for me to think that you know we're in one country but we have so many different kinds of people living together and that is when you that that's especially when you understand when you go on all these sets that oh my god this is a completely different place and this is a completely different place and it's fascinating to work with those kind of people because everyone thinks differently you know in terms of films and the way what they want to bring what local elements everything even when you see the original anda do when you see brahma you will see there is a difference because we have added local elements to it to bring it right. to the industry there, you know, the, mm. to the there so i think that's quite fascinating 
before we uh, wrap up this session, uh, tell the audience why they shouldn't miss drama. They should definitely not miss drama because I think that they're in for a fascinating ride. I think it's it's different from the original for sure in some ways, which I'm sure you're going to love. And uh, for all you thriller lovers, I think thriller, especially when you watch it again also, is, is still as fascinating as it is the first time. So I think this is something you should definitely not miss. And every character is a grey shade. And every character has played it. Every actor has played those characters very differently. And uh, it's a very honest effort by the team to stay close to the original, but still bring in some originality of our own. So just for those efforts, I think, and for this amazing cast that we have, you must watch. Thank you so much for this conversation. It was lovely chatting you and all the best for Brahma.